All right, how's it going everybody? I'm Gratuitous and I've released my first Amazon book called Audio Painting. So this is available in both ebook and paperback version. And I just wanna tell you before I tell you about the book, for five days, you guys will be able to get the ebook version for free on Amazon. So what you'll have to do is just download the Kindle app or download the software on your computer. I'll leave all these links in the description below. And for five days from September 20th to September 24th, 2018, you guys can download the ebook version of audio painting absolutely free, okay? So the whole idea behind audio painting is it's a term I've actually coined over the years as I was talking about it on my blog. And so what it is, is as producers, we have tools available to us to communicate with our listener before the change actually happens. So for example, if we were in our intro and we were building our way up to the chorus, there's multiple tools that we could be using, things such as like white noise or like a reverse symbol. And these just allow us as a producer to let our listener know that a change is coming. It's all about uh, kind of communicating with our listener and preparing them for what's next in our song. So you'll notice my book has a not for resale bar on it. And the reason for that is just because I got this proof printed for me just so I can, you know, make sure of any errors or anything like that. Uh, but obviously yours will, yours will not have that if you get the paperback version. Again, all the links will be in the description for you guys to check out Kindle, uh, to download uh, audio painting. And there's just one thing I want to ask from you guys. So if you guys do download it, if you guys like it, you know, if you guys can leave an honest review, it would really help the book. You you know, increase sales on Amazon, as well as, you know, kind of encourage me to write future books in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy audio painting and please let me know what you think. So I just wanted to read you actually one chapter from the book here, just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, what audio painting is, you know, what I'm describing it as. But yes, as you can see, this is the cover here. You know, this is the back. And like I said, like it was just so cool to learn how to uh, design a book. But yeah, so here's, here's the cover page. A little copyright disclaimer and then here's the table of contents so that's everything that you'll be getting in the book so what we're gonna be reading is audio painting versus a real painting okay so I'll just switch to that page okay so I will read it to you okay so audio painting versus a real painting I like to compare audio painting to a real world painting one would look at in those fancy art exhibitions. So let's pretend as if we were. Imagine you're at an art exhibition and a certain painting catches your eye. You walk up to it and try to soak in all that the artist has tried to portray in their painting. The painting has large mountains with snow on the tips, tall and beautiful green trees of different types, a massive body of water with a majestic turquoise color to it, and an assortment of rock colors on the shore. At this moment, someone walks up beside you and sparks up a conversation about that painting. They mention the snow on the tips of the mountain, like you previously noticed, but also point out how such detail has gone into the side of the mountain, almost like a big part of the mountain has fallen off from over the years. You think to yourself, yeah, I didn't even notice the fine details of the mountain and how it's missing a big chunk out of it. This is comparable to listening to a song over and over again, or when you sit down and talk to someone about a song. They may mention something to you which you've never heard in the song beforehand. Now, you'll always notice it whenever you hear that song. When it comes to a real world painting, artists have tons of options to take us on a sensational journey as we gaze at their painting. This can be the colors they chose, the size of their canvas, their brush size, the types of paint, their their stroke technique and even materials they can add within the painting. All of these choices contribute to our emotions and how we perceive their painting. But when it comes to audio production, what types of tools do we have and how can we use these tools to let our listener go on a similar experience they had when looking at the painting we just talked about? Music has a very special effect on us. It can leave us feeling upbeat and making us want to dance or sad and relating to events in our life. We use music in many areas of our lives from celebration to death. It has a major influence on society and trends and uses different senses, our hearing and touch, when compared to the painting, our sight. As I show you the different tools we have available to us and how to use them, you'll start to see and understand how audio painting amplifies these emotions in our listener. You'll then be able to hear how commercial releases are using these techniques and start improving your tracks, whether they want to call it audio painting or not. All right, so that's just a little intro chapter to the book. Again, you know, here is the table of contents, you know, so we would start getting into uh, the different types of tools we can audio paint with and, you know, how to kind of use them. Um, again, these are just kind of general tools as you'll start to understand as you read, it's like anything can be used for audio painting. These are just some of the more kind of common ones. 
um, you know, how I think about a song. I kind of break down a whole overview from like an intro and work my way. Uh, and then again, popular ways of how we can actually use these techniques. But again, audio painting is available on Amazon in both paperback and ebook format. Thank you.